Welcome back to our channel. We're Jamie and Skylar, and in last week's video, we took you on the ultimate tour of the Bahia Principe Luxury Ambar in Punta Cana. But knowing your way around the Ambar property is just the first step in making the most of your time in this tropical paradise. So in this video, we're going to share a few tips from our recent stay at the Bahia Principe Luxury Ambar to help you spend your best day on this beautiful resort. And our first recommendation is to start your day off with an amazing Punta Cana sunrise. Even if you're like us and aren't exactly a morning person, we're confident that you won't regret waking up early for a sunrise beach walk or maybe even some sunrise yoga. If it were open prior to sunrise, the second stop of our day would certainly be our first. But since it doesn't open until 7, your morning visit to the coffee shop will have to come after sunrise. We found the coffee shop to offer a warm, welcoming environment and a great place to work on our computers, grab a sweet treat, and of course, to drink some delicious coffee. Our drink of choice at the coffee bar was the cappuccino with cream, but we also enjoyed the lattes and the lemon pie. All right, so we just left the coffee shop near the lobby, and normally this would be the time when we head back towards the beach to go to Las Prisas, which is an open air a la carte breakfast place with great views of the water. Yeah, we've eaten at Las Brisas several times since we've been here, and we've tried things like Eggs Florentine, Stuffed French Toast, Eggs Benedict, and even the gluten-free breakfast. All of the options were really good, but if you're more of a buffet person and just want even more options, you can also consider going to the buffet in the lobby. Yeah, and while the food there may not be quite as fresh, there definitely is a huge selection. And since we already had a piece of lemon pie at the coffee shop, we're not that hungry and we just want to grab something quick, so we'll see you over at the buffet next. We were always happy to find healthier options at the buffet for breakfast, including fresh tropical fruits and juices, plus two of Skylar's favorites, bacon and cheese. We'll show you much more of our breakfast and other dining experiences in next week's Ambar Restaurants video, so be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss it. And after breakfast, it's time for the beach. While one can easily spend the entire day relaxing on this wonderful beach, we found late morning to be our favorite beach time. It's at this time that the Caribbean waters were at their most spectacular shade of blue, and the sun was not yet at its hottest. So we've made it here to our beach spot for the day. This area is one of our favorites on the property for a few reasons. One of those is of course the view. I mean, look at that gorgeous view of the water back there. And another reason is we are right next to the boardwalk, which is only a short walk away from the blue bar. And that is the beach bar, which is right next door. So let's go get a drink. Another of our favorite beach spots is located at the far northeast end of the property, right next to another great beach bar, Arecife. And like the blue bar a few steps down the beach, we found Arecife to offer great service along with phenomenal Caribbean views. But before you enjoy too many beachfront cocktails, you might want to go for a swim. And no matter where you are on this wonderful beach, you're never more than a few steps away from the refreshing Caribbean waters. How's your mojito? Very refreshing out here. I like it. So we just got done swimming at the beach and prior to today we spent a lot of time swimming at the pool and laying out and relaxing at the beach but today was the first time swimming at the beach. And there is a yellow flag out which I guess means caution 
Uh, there are some waves out there, but they're really not too bad. It does get deep pretty fast though, so if you're not a strong swimmer, you definitely don't want to swim out into the water too far, but we would definitely recommend swimming at the beach. After enjoying a relaxing morning on the beach, we go to lunch. Now you can enjoy lunch on the beach or at the pool. They do grill up things like burgers, hot dogs, chicken, and even paella. But we really like to sit down and enjoy lunch at Las Brisas. It also helps that it's right next to the beach bar. <laughs> so we'll see you there. Located in the northeast corner of the property, diners at Las Brisas will have the option of sitting poolfront or beachfront. And while you can't go wrong with either, our go-to spot was right on the beach. One thing we really enjoy about eating at Los Brusas is the different types of salads. And today I got three. So I've got a chickpea one here, a vegetable one in the middle, and a potato salad at the end. I also got some fresh grilled steak and some watermelon. All right, Skylar, what did you get? Well, this has been a recurring theme. I always say I'm not hungry for lunch because I've been drinking fruity drinks all morning, and then I come back with a full plate. Today, I got steak, freshly grilled grouper, some blue cheese to go with the steak, and three types of salads. I wasn't planning on getting this much, but it all just looks so good. So after lunch, at some point, we typically do go and get more coffee. But today, we had it here at Las Cruces because we had this amazing view. We didn't want to walk all the way to the coffee shop. Once your early afternoon caffeine boost kicks in, you might be ready to burn off some energy. On our trip, we had planned on making afternoon visits to the gym, only to find that it was closed from 11.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily. While you can still schedule a morning or evening gym session, you'll need to find another way to get your exercise in the afternoon. For us, that usually meant going for a walk. And with six neighboring sister resorts on the Bahia Principe property, guests will find no shortage of room to explore. Our favorite place to walk was the Aqua Marine Resort, which we found to have the most beautiful pool area of all the properties. During our stay, the Aquamarine was temporarily closed for renovations, but by the time you watch this video, it's likely back up and running. We also really enjoyed exploring the Bahia Fantasia Resort, which had the look and feel of a tropical fairy tale, plus its own pool and water park. By late afternoon, you may be ready for another drink and some pool time. And for us, that normally started with a trip to the pineapple and coconut bar for a pina colada or a rum coconut. These were our favorite drinks on the entire resort, and in our opinion, well worth the $5 upcharge. Like the beach, there's really no bad time to be at the Ambar pool. And while this is the only public pool on the Ambar property, there is another option nearby. Now typically after getting our fresh drink, we would hang out at our pool at the Ambar. But in the afternoons, they do typically play pretty loud music there. So we weren't quite feeling that today. Yeah, and because of that music and copyright laws, we actually wouldn't even be able to film this video there. But thankfully, just a short walk down the beach on what we believe to be the grand property is another beachfront pool, and that's where we're at right now. This is a family-friendly pool, so there are kids here, but there's no blasting music, so it is much quieter and a nice peaceful place to enjoy our coconut. Once we get out of our bathing suits, we change into our evening clothes for our specialty dinners. We would recommend booking those early. If the app is working, we would recommend booking those before you even get here. You can also email the resort ahead of time if there are specific dinners that you wanna make sure to reserve. Yeah, and if you're like us and don't have a a la carte restaurant to eat at the first night, you can always eat at the buffet or you can eat at the sports bar, which we would recommend. They have excellent chicken wings and mozzarella sticks. Our specialty dinner on this night was at the Dominican restaurant, which is actually located on the Esmeralda property to the south of the Ambar. 
After catching a quick cart ride from the Ambar lobby, we arrived at the restaurant, where we were excited to try traditional Dominican cuisine for the first time. Like each of the other specialty restaurants, the Dominican restaurant had its own specialty cocktail, and it was one of the better drinks that we had on the resort. But even more impressive was the location and the view. The open air restaurant is located right on the beach, allowing guests to enjoy the sound of the waves and the ocean breeze along with their Dominican dinner. We were quite impressed with the food here as well. We actually had our favorite appetizer on the whole resort at the Dominican restaurant, and we'll let you know what that is in next week's restaurant video. After wrapping up our dinner by sampling some Dominican liquor, we decided it to be best to walk home. But when your walk home is a moonlit stroll down the beach, we can think of worse options. We just finished our meal at the traditional Dominican restaurant. And normally if we had enough energy, we would keep going either at the lobby bar with some drinks and possibly some entertainment or the sports bar with a dirty martini or some wings. But tonight we are really exhausted and I think we're just gonna enjoy this beach walk home back to our building. While this video may be coming to an end, your Bahia Principe luxury and bar experience doesn't have to be. We still have two more videos, which we'll be posting shortly. And if you haven't already seen our ultimate Ambar tour video, you can check that one out right now. Thanks for watching.